Hello, my name is Jason Abercrombie, and I'm going to be teaching you AP Calculus BC. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about myself and the class and the AP test. And um, the, uh, the first thing to know about AP Calculus BC is it is a combination of Calc AB and then new material for BC. Uh, when you take the AP test, uh, the test is divided 50% for, for each course. So what that tells me is that you need to be really good at not only the new material from this year, but also the material from last year. Uh, with that being said, um, we do start back at the very beginning of Calc 1 with limits, and we just move through it pretty fast. Um, typically, uh, someone that's gone through Calculus AB uh, is uh, you know well-oriented with limits and derivatives and the derivative rules and knows what an integral is, but uh, the second time through, you really become an expert at that uh, with those topics, and that's what's needed to do well on the, the, the calculus BC test. Uh, so we'll start uh, moving through all those review topics um, as soon as school gets going. Uh, the way our class is going to function is I'm going to record videos and post them I have a, a YouTube channel called Jason Abercrombie Math. I'm going to post all the videos there, and uh, also they will be posted within Canvas, so you can watch them in Canvas. Um, so the way this class is going to work, you go to Canvas, you open up uh, a new video, you watch it. Every week, I'll have videos over whatever topics that they're going to uh, will be covering. Uh, there's a website called Delta Math, which the foundation has uh, provided. Uh, for us to use this year. Uh, I will give you assignments in Del Delta Math to do, and uh, also your tests will be in Delta Math as long as we are working remotely, uh, which there's no telling how long that'll be. Uh, so Delta Math, I'll give you some instructions on how to log in and make an account and join my class, and uh, that'll be a, a, a vital resource uh, for us as long as we're uh, learning this style. Uh, we'll have two weekly Zoom classes, uh, and that will be a format that is collaborative. I want it to be a time for you to answer questions, uh, ask questions, I'll answer questions. Uh, there will probably be some topics I have to do um, in person that are kind of difficult or need some clarification. So uh, think of the videos as your first line of learning, and then the Zoom calls will be uh, where we clean up the damage and get you on your way so you can do your problems and uh, and feel comfortable with the material. Uh, so as I said, we're going to kind of speed through Calc 1. And uh, most years that is done well before uh, winter break. And uh, we get through the rest of the chapters in the orange textbook uh, and probably by March, and then we're doing practice tests uh, from then on until the AP test. Uh, our schedules, our calendar is a little different this year, so that may not exactly be how things go, but I think it's still a good guide uh, for how you can expect our, our, our progress to, to go. Um, with the AP tests, uh, the best way to study for the AP test is to do practice tests, and when we get to that stage, uh, I can really give you some guidance about uh, what type of questions are typically asked from year to year. Uh, the AP test is a very predictable sort of test, and we can discuss that uh, when we get there in more detail. Um, so that's how the class is going to work. Um, this is a class that is really algebra intensive, and uh, also there's uh, a lot of emphasis on kind of being able to verbally explain what your, not just how to do the problem, but what it means. And with calculus in general, uh, oftentimes students that struggle, they struggle either because one, they, they have the big picture in their head, but they can't actually get everything, get things right because their algebra is not that good. Or two, uh, they can do the monkey see, monkey do, I can copy what you do problem, um, but they don't actually know what they're doing. So keep that in mind as you go through calculus. Um, make sure that your algebra is solid and that you are comfortable getting from the top of the page to the bottom of the page without making mistakes. But also keep in mind that it's really important that you can verbalize and explain 
not just what you're doing, but why you're doing it. On the AP test, that is a substantial portion of the test is, is interpretation of, of what you're doing. Um, previous classes, Algebra 2, Trig, Pre-Calc, whatnot, uh, they're classes that you can get by doing the monkey see, monkey do, and, and you know get through the problems in this section and go to the next section. But this is a, a place where uh, that starts to not be enough. Um, this is a very doable class. It, it really is. There's plenty of time. Uh, the concepts at first, they may seem kind of wacky or uh, difficult, but they persist with us all year. So you, you, you have derivatives. We do derivatives for a long, long time. Then we do integrals. And we talk about what those two things mean. And, and that's it. There's only two topics for the class. And that's one of the things that makes the calculus, uh, whether it's Calc AB or BC or both, uh, a, a pretty doable class is that there's so much consistency and, uh, and that we deal with the same topics all year long. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I've, I've taught at Booker T for 15 years. Uh, I've taught nearly every subject that's offered. I've never done uh, remote teaching like this. And uh, so we're all learning. And uh, I, I want to emphasize that, that uh, um, you know, this is new for you. It's also new for me. And we're going to make it work and, um, and adjust as we need to adjust. But I hope that you will, uh, even though we don't have a face-to-face -face relationship yet, I, I hope that you will reach out to me uh, talk to me in the Zoom sessions, talk to me and ask me questions and let me know what you need. It's it's a little bit harder when you're sitting at your kitchen table to know exactly what the person or the other end needs. So uh, be, just explicitly tell me that sometimes if, if I need to go over something again or uh, explain it in a different way. I really want to do that, but I, and I, and I, I need that communication back from you. So Welcome to the class. I'm looking forward to it and um, hope you have a nice day. We'll see you soon.